The resolution of an imaging system, how sharp the images are, is determined by the size of its aperture and the wavelength of light. For high resolution, we need large aperture and small wavelengths. A dramatic demonstration is the Event Horizon Telescope, which in 2019 imaged a black hole at the centre of another galaxy. To achieve this, scientists combined signals from radio telescopes all over the world, effectively making a single giant imaging system the size of the Earth. Radio waves oscillate slow enough that we can measure both the amplitude and the phase of the waves. These readings were combined into the now famous image. However, this technique is impossible with visible light, since optical oscillations are too fast for any electronics to track. In the optical domain, imaging is traditionally performed by directly focusing the light. Your eyes do exactly this. To make the image, we need to recombine the light collected at different parts of the imaging system. However, if the distances between the collection sites are too large, losses and noise will destroy the signal. How do we make a large aperture imaging system that operates with visible light? This is where we can look to the Quantum Technology Toolbox. Two key elements that can help build a large telescope are quantum memories and entanglement distribution. We want to use every photon we collect from the stars, so we do not want to put them through a lossy fibre. Instead, we put the photons in a quantum memory. Next, we distribute entanglement, which contains quantum correlations that can be used to bring the information in the light at the distant collectors together. By measuring the starlight and the pre-distributed entanglement of each collector separately, we extract the relevant information about the image. All the photon losses are experienced by the entanglement distribution. Fortunately, we know exactly when this happens and how to fix it. This gives us the resolution we need to look for life on nearby exoplanets.